So for loading data extension and target list into Salesforce, there are two ways. The very one way is just playing this button and first data extension would be created would be created and then on top of that target list would set. So now as I mentioned there are two ways. One is automatically we do it or the other way is manually. So when I say manually I mean we'll just disable this tool container so that we make sure uh, our output files are not written and we'll execute this workflow to generate our output files of data extension. So just like this. Okay. So as you can see, we have our output list for data extension. So we can click on that and see what is generated. So this is what is generated and this is what we have to load into Salesforce in order to create data extension. So let's go to the folder where we can find uh, these data extensions. So we'll go to Dropbox where I've mapped them. Go to Alteryx folder. Go to production folder, digital engagement, SFMC solution, and data extension. So now as you, have, uh, as you remember from earlier videos that every data extension is mapped to their respective site uh, folder. So for example, for AGC, uh, we got our e-promotion uh, data extension in here. So this is what uh, I'm looking for. And likewise, for every respective uh, site ID, we'll have our, we'll have our uh, data extension there. So now, to manually load your data extension into Salesforce, we have to follow the coming steps. We'll copy this file. We'll right click on file explorer, go to this uh, folder and in here make sure it was AJC. So for AJC go to AJC folder then since we are low, right now first creating data extension we'll go to data extension folder. In here you paste your file. So as you can see, after some time it is gone. So as soon as it is created into Salesforce, it will automatically will be deleted from this folder. But now to make sure that data extension is successfully created into our Salesforce, what we'll do is we'll go to this uh, folder again and we'll go to response folder. From there, we'll go to SFMC status folder. There, the very last file, because that is one we just ran, right? So we'll right click on that, edit with notepad and you can see the data extension is created, our status is ok and the name of the extension is uh, what we have given CE AJC ATX E promotion and the, uh, the columns are, uh, these are the columns. Alright, so this is one way, I mean second way or you can call it as manual way of creating data extension. Now in the next video, we'll see how we can load our target list manually. Thank you.